All right, guys, let's start on our pop art burger. So for step number one, we're gonna make a rainbow shape and close it off at the bottom for our top bun. And I'm adding sesame seeds on the top just to add some detail. All right, for the next step, we're gonna start on the ingredients in the inside of our burger. So I'm doing some basic ingredients like lettuce. And my next ingredient is going to be a tomato. So you wanna make sure that when you get ready to draw your tomato, you do not draw a circle like this. Instead, you want it to be an ellipse or a flattened circle. And then I want to add the edge of my tomato where it's really bright red. Then I'm also going to add details inside of it, making sure I add a couple of seeds. It's not super realistic, but we get the idea that it is a tomato. All right, next, I'm going to add cheese. So when we're adding cheese onto our burger, we don't want to make a square shape. That's what it looks like, but of course we won't see the whole square because this is a side view. So we're just gonna make a little flat triangle for the burger. And I wanna make it wiggly around the edges. And then I want to add some details inside of it as well, adding some texture with some dots and marks to make it look a little more realistic. And then the last step for our burger is the bottom bun. So you wanna make sure the bottom bun fits right in between. You don't want it longer than the rest of the burger. And then I'm going to add details in it as well on the top bun too, just adding a couple of little dots for texture. And that is my burger. So we are done with step number one. All right, so for step number two, we're gonna add a starburst around the edges of our burger. Remember, pop art is almost like advertisement. Um, that's kind of what it was meant for, just to get people to think about new things that are out there. So we're almost advertising this burger, so we wanna put like a flashy starburst around the edges. And then I also want to add another layer of starburst around the outside of this one. So I'm gonna go back around one more time and add another starburst around the edges, kind of copying the one that I've already made. Of course, you can do something different if you would like. I think it would be really cool to put dots around the edges too. That would be awesome. So here is the starburst around the burger. After we add the starburst around the outside of the burger, we wanna add some text to the background to make it a little more interesting. So think of some interesting words you could use to describe your burger. So I use yum, juicy, and in the opposite corner, I put fresh veggies. Adding exciting shapes around the outsides of your words will also add some interest to your drawing. So consider some fun shapes to put on the outside of your words. And now for my favorite part, adding color. So you can add color however you would like. Use markers, crayons, paint, whatever you have at home. I'm using lots of really bright colors for my burger so it can pop out. The pop artists love using bright colors to attract attention. So I'm using lots of those in the background. And then I also added some fun lines to add some detail. And so here is my pop art burger. I hope you guys enjoy creating yours and I can't wait to see what you make.